Well, after a dreary start to our day, it has turned into a gorgeous afternoon, but unfortunately, the sunshine isn't going to stick around for too long. Meteorologist Kate Bilo here with the changes coming in the forecast. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, today was like Mother Nature kind of threw us a bone and was like, you know what? The rest of the week isn't so great. Here, take a nice Tuesday. Enjoy it. And what a nice Tuesday it was. The sun shining all day. After the morning clouds, it cleared out pretty quickly. The sun shining right now, and it feels amazing outside with temperatures in the mid 60s. Lots of sun, blue sky as far as the eye can see. Great night to sit outside, have some dinner, whether it's at a local establishment or just out on your back porch, perhaps 65 degrees. The current temperature in Philadelphia, and winds are negligible, just light breeze from the north at three miles an hour. So, yesterday, of course, it was that east wind that kept us chilly, cloudy, and damp all day. When that wind switches up a little bit, Skies open up, the sun's out, and what a beautiful day it was. We're still going to be in the 60s at about 80, uh, 62 degrees at about 8 p.m., 56 at 10 o'clock, and then we will drop back into the 40s. But notice we will start tomorrow morning with mainly clear skies, and I do think we'll see a little sun to start the day tomorrow before our next system arrives by afternoon. So a few clouds off to the west right now. Not much to write home about. Here's the next system we're watching. This is a an upper low, so basically it's kind of a cold puddle of air, a low pressure system in the upper levels of the atmosphere. We've been talking about these since last week. This is going to swing through Thursday into Friday. Out ahead of it, though, we've got some rain breaking out here over portions of the mid south. That's going to get here tomorrow evening. So tonight is dry, 47 degrees, a few clouds, quiet and pleasant. For tomorrow, we start the day with some sun, but then clouds increase, and by late afternoon or early. Early evening, some areas of rain will develop, and it's going to be active right through the end of the week. So periods of rain late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Thursday looking damp and rainy. Now some of the heaviest rain may shift off to the north and east, but there will at the very least be pockets of rain or scattered showers depending on your location. Then temperatures tumble Thursday evening, and by Friday morning we're talking feels like temperatures near freezing. So timing this out, tomorrow here's 8 a.m. Still seeing some sun, clouds starting to build in. It's pretty gray by mid day, but still relatively quiet. Then you can see showers kind of breaking out across the region by around 515 by the evening commute tomorrow with some rain off to the south of the city tomorrow night. And then Thursday, we'll start with some pockets of rain. We'll have some heavier rain up across portions of northern New Jersey, possibly the Poconos, with showers rolling through all evening on Thursday as colder air begins to move in. And as far as rainfall accumulation is concerned, relatively light from the city on west, likely less than a half inch, but the far Farther north and east you go, up to two inches of rain. And if this shifts a little further south, we could be talking about some heavier rain near the city as well. So really dependent on where that upper low sets up on Thursday. Periods of rain, a soaking rain in spots. And then Friday, a light shower in the morning, breezy and much cooler. But it does rebound quickly after almost a winter-like chill on Friday with morning feels like temperatures near freezing. Saturday, we're back to the 60s. Sunday looks great with just an isolated shower and a couple of those spotty April shower chances next week, but mild in the mid-60s. Mm, love that. Okay, Kate, thank you.